Hello everybody, welcome back to Slaughter Food Creations. Pauly here, got a great recipe for you. It is a steamed broccoli in bechamel or cheese sauce. You're not going to want to miss this. I use premium ingredients which make this an epic side dish for any great entree. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. Let's get started. We've got our broccoli here and I've washed it and what I do is I just cut the florets off the top like so into my pot here with the colander and we'll get it all in there and ready to go. Uh, with that I've got some homemade chicken stock. We'll go in there with a couple cups of that. I already put one in. I'll go in with another and obviously if you're vegetarian just use water. So let's get this going. We'll turn on high heat and uh, the steam will obviously form and start steaming our broccoli and then in a matter of uh, minutes we'll have that done. And while we're steaming our broccoli we can make our bechamel or cheese sauce. Okay, as you see we've got our broccoli all cut up there. The florets are in there. So I got it on high so I'll go ahead and put a lid on that and let it uh, start boiling and steaming. Uh, I save the stalks here for like bro broccoli cheese soup or for stock. Uh, so always keep these. All right, while our broccoli's uh, steaming away there, we can uh, make our quick and easy sauce here. So we'll go ahead and get that started. To our saucepan, we're going to go in with a couple tablespoons of butter. And my saucepan is on uh, a medium to medium high heat. So we'll get this melted down. It's been about six minutes, so I went ahead and turned the heat off on my broccoli because that's good to go. But I'll just leave the lid on and we'll go ahead and get started with our sauce. Like I said, I've got my two tablespoons of butter melted down. So at this point, we're gonna go in with about a half a teaspoon or so of flour. I'll have all of the ingredients and amounts in the description box below. And we'll get that started. So we'll let this, uh, get this all stirred in, mixed up, and let it slightly uh, get a, uh, slight brown browning color going on but not brown necessarily caramel like color and uh, get rid of some of the flour uh, taste in there after consistently stirring here for about a minute or so I'm gonna go in with some pressed or minced garlic like so and uh, continue to stir that around so it doesn't burn so that we'll let that go consistently stirring for about another minute okay after about a minute we're going to go in with some heavy cream You can see the caramel look to it, but that'll blend in nicely here with our cream. Like so. Consistently stirring until we bring it up to a boil. And uh, we'll add some kosher salt. And you can, obviously you're going to have to go in taste to make sure the salt content is where you want it. Salt to taste, some cracked black pepper, like so. And we'll give this a taste test here in a minute. But we'll let it go for about a minute here until we get it uh, to a low boil. Okay, at about four minutes in of uh, consistently stirring, you can see it's uh, got a nice little rumble there of uh, boil. But at this point, I'm going to go in with some Parmigiano Reggiano. Uh, I grated about two tablespoons or so. 
Um, and I went light on the kosher salt because this cheese is salty alone by itself. So we go in with that and stir that in and we'll be able to take it off of the heat here and it will finish thickening up here on its own and we'll get ready to serve this up. Simple as that. About four to six minutes and you've got a gorgeous looking cheese sauce bechamel here and ready for our steamed broccoli. So let's plate up. All right, there you have it. There is our gorgeous looking cheese sauce. Mmm, mmm, is it good. And our steamed broccoli. So we'll just go over it. Oh yeah. Look at that. So there you have it. Steamed broccoli with a gorgeous Parmesan cheese bechamel sauce or cheese sauce. So, hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching Slaughter Food Creations. We'll see you next time. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Slaughter Food Creations. Polly here, and I've got a great recipe for you. It is a broccoli and bechamel sauce. You're Hello everybody, welcome back to Slaughter Food Creations. Polly here and I've got a great recipe for you. It is a steamed broccoli and bechamel. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for this. So using premium ingredients, shit. Hello everybody, welcome back to Slaughter Food Creations. Polly here and I've got a great recipe for you today. It is an epic side dish of broccoli and bechamel or cheese sauce. If you stay tuned, you will see how to use in pre some. <laughs>